A picket by maritime workers in Sydney has been boosted by a busload of retired unionists arriving to lend their support. Workers at Hutchison Ports in Sydney and Brisbane are into their fifth day of picketing in protest at the sacking of nearly 100 workers. And they're continuing to defy an order by the Fair Work Commission to return to work. Reporter Rachel Papazzoni is at the picket line at Botany Bay. Rachel, it sounds like workers are digging in there. They certainly are, Roz. We've uh, heard uh, just a, an hour or so ago quite a, a vocal response from a lot of uh, MUA workers, uh, but also from other unions. There's a lot of support here. As you mentioned, busloads of uh, union members have turned up here at Port Botany. Uh, and the uh, representative from the MUA here in Sydney, Paul McAleer, addressed the crowd of about two to 300 people a little while ago, saying that the workers at Hutchison have been treated poorly and that they will continue to support them. This company knows what they've done. They know they're wrong, as does the vast majority of the Australian community. We've seen it all through the media. Almost everyone to a person has said that no Australian worker, no matter what industry they work in, deserves to be sacked by text message at midnight. So, Rachel, what's been the response of Hutchison Port, the company, to the strike? Hutchison has been fairly quiet over the last five days, uh, releasing intermittent statements. Now, we've attempted to contact them this morning and they've pointed us towards a statement that they issued last night after the Fair Work Commission uh, ordered these workers back to work. And in that statement, uh, Hutchison said that it expects the industrial relations action to cease immediately and that the uh, Maritime Union of Australia would ensure that the order is complied with. Now, as you can see behind me, workers here uh, are still uh, not at work and they uh, have said that they will continue to act in this manner. What's happening, Rachel, to the ships that are not having their cargo unloaded? Well, a ship that uh, arrived here yesterday, yesterday, Capitan Tasman, was sent back out to sea and uh, uh, has now come into the port next door. Now that is run by Patrick, so uh, it's assumed that that contract has now been passed on to another uh, team of uh, stevedores, and so that's work that Hutchison may very well have lost. There are also ships that were due uh, in Brisbane as well. Uh, so this is a, a major impact five days in, and workers here not giving any indication of giving up until they get uh, the response that they want from Hutchison. Now, the union is trying to meet with Hutchison this afternoon. Uh, apparently, they've uh, tried to contact lawyers and try to organise a mediation process this afternoon. So there may be some further development later today. Thank you, Rachel.